Straight. Welcome to part two of how Baron punked his fans. I'm actually quite happy that this video has taken a while to put together because Baring just put out another video with deceptive information as he tries yet again to defame me. I have therefore included these most recent false allegations and I will be dealing with two of them in this video. Before we start I wanted to update information that I provided in the part one video and this has to do with Baring doxing himself and his fans doxing him. While doing research for the part three video I came across this screenshot that someone had captured where Baring brags about how easy it would be to dox him. Yep, that's right. Back in October, Baring actually bragged about how easy it would be to dox him. Here's what he posted as read by the real Baring. From Baring, uh, dated one month ago. Crusty wonders are not hiding behind anything. Just not handing you my identity on a platter. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. Baring addressed that comment to me, but of course it was posted in the comment section of a video, where hundreds if not thousands of people could have seen it. Given this, it's pretty hard to take seriously Baring's allegation that I was needed for someone that he called this serial doxer and shitstirrer, this serial doxer and shitstirrer, this serial doxer and shitstirrer. And it looks like he does this kind of shit regularly. To collect his information. Just to review from part one, we know that Baring helped dox himself by telling his fans that the music he used in his videos was from a band he was in. The admin of that band's Facebook page doxed him when he identified one of the band members as Baring Bear. Baring's own fans doxed him on channels that he owned and he left that information up for months and we saw how Baring's information was posted in the comment section of an AIU video months ago. And Baring announced that he had been doxxed back in November in the same video where he again provided personally identifying information while trying to impress Dusty Smith. First of all, hello, Baring, is that how you pronounce your name? Yeah, man, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and is that like your last name or is that just a handle? No, it's, uh, it's been my nickname for about uh, 10 years, man. And are you anonymous? No. Uh, no, yeah, yes and yes and no. Gotcha. Dox and <laughs> fuck, but uh, hey, Dusty, Dusty. Up until March yeah. of this year, I, I was an associate director for for a multinational company, earning fucking six figures, man. I, I was a, a a professional. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. And, and not... Dusty, my my, my 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 other passion is music, and you know, I I make videos about music, and and you know, spend as much time on music as, as YouTube. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. Baring wants to have it both ways. He wants to brag about how easy it would be to dox him in the comments section of a video in October, participate in his own doxing, leave comments up that doxed him on videos that he managed, and giving out personally identifying information at a hangout that had thousands of views. And then, when someone who Baring calls this serial doxer and shitstirrer, and it looks like he does this kind of shit regularly, creates an entry about him with just that sort of information, Baring wants everyone to believe that there must have been a grand conspiracy behind it all. No, Baring. If you brag about how easy it is for people to get your information, then you don't get to claim it must have taken a conspiracy to get your information. You bragged it was easy to find. So why should anyone believe that someone who is a serial doxer, according to your own words, the person who is an editor at a drama website, and the person who wrote the first entry about you, is somehow incapable of collecting the information you bragged was easy to find. Instead of talking about that, Baring makes videos to post to his channel of over 300,000 subscribers that accuse Danny and me of being behind it all, thereby damaging our reputations without any evidence to substantiate his assertions. Yeah, but it's it's libel. It's their libel laws. So libel is a bad thing. It's not not a good thing. You shouldn't you shouldn't be able to 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 be libelous. Like that's yeah, like saying yeah, someone's a rapist about. and then revealing it on on the news, and then it turns out he's not a rapist. Now you could sue him. That's totally fine with me because that could ruin someone's life. And now, Bering fans are getting pretty desperate because they're realizing there is absolutely no evidence that shows that Danny and I were part of a conspiracy. 
no evidence to show that we collected information, and no evidence to show that we've provided it to Cobalt Cat. Just look at this message that I received from someone trying to get me to confess to something I didn't do. The tactic, of course, is to get me to name somebody else and try to shift the blame to that person. But I can't name anyone, because I wasn't involved. Because Baring has no evidence, he has to deceive his audience, either by leaving out key information, presenting hearsay instead of actual direct evidence, and by making false allegations. As a reminder, Baring alleged three things. One, that there was a conspiracy involving Danny and myself to dox him. That Danny and I gathered up his private information. And three, that we gave that information to Cobalt Cat. To support these allegations, he offers us hearsay evidence, comments made by Tim that were taken out of context and have not been corrected despite what Tim has said about those comments, a screenshot of some unknown person saying something during a Twitter argument, not, who the fuck is that guy? Who the fuck is that? and cherry-picked comments from the person who actually doxed him at the drama website. This serial doxer and shit stirrer. And it looks like he does this kind of shit regularly. The other information he presents is documentation. One of a screenshot that he claims places me at the website on the 6th of December, and the fact that my name comes up in a conversation on that same website. I'm going to deal with parts 1, 2, and 3, the hearsay parts of the allegations in the part 3 video. For the rest of this video, I am going to utterly destroy Baring's assertions. And to be honest, destroying Baring's accusations was really easy to do. The first time I heard Baring complain about me was in a hangout with Tim back in August, and he was complaining that I hurt his feelings by saying he wasn't very smart. Actually, I think the way that the exchange went was that Baring made a comment to someone that I had questioned his sexual potency, and I corrected him, saying I had never questioned his sexual potency but I did think that he was intellectually impotent, and the fact that he could distinguish his brains from his balls pretty much made my point. Now, Baring got really offended at that, but when he keeps giving me so much evidence that I'm right, he can't really be upset when I reach the obvious conclusion. So let's look at what Baring alleged in his most recent video. Baring alleges that the screenshot that I used places me at the ED website on December 6th, the day that it went up. However, I will show you a screen cap of some of the page's metadata. And as you can see here, it was last updated on December 6th when I took this screenshot two days ago. When I took this screenshot two days ago. Hey, hang on. What date did you say this website released my docs? On or about December 6th. And what date did you say you took these screenshots? On December 6th, when I took this screenshot two days ago. Wow, so the day that this website releases my docs, which you had nothing to do with, you just so happened to be front and centre to have a good look at it. That is a coincidence. What? English, motherfucker, do you speak it? Now I'm going to demonstrate that instead, that screenshot places me there on the 13th of December, not the 6th. And all the evidence I need is in his latest video. He just edits it to fool his viewers. I guess maybe because he thinks they aren't smart enough to see through his deceptive tactics. So let's expose them. You see, Baring abuses the trust of his audience by focusing on the date that I mentioned, trying to get them to overlook the phrase last modified that appears in front of the date. Now, you're going to have to decide for yourself if Baring is too ignorant to realize the mistake he made, or if he does realize the mistake he made, and he's just deceiving his fans on purpose. That phrase, last modified, is used to monitor which version of the page it is, in this case, the wiki page. It's not a timestamp. That phrase about when the page was last modified is left up up until the next time the page is modified. To determine the time frame within which someone could have taken that particular screenshot, you have to look to see when the page was next updated. And as you can see right here, the next update to the page occurred on the 17th of December, the day that Baring made his video misrepresenting Tim's words despite Tim's rebuttal video and tweets. That means there was an 11-day window for anyone to have taken the screenshot. But this gets better. Oh yes. You see, Baring leaves out yet more important information in his effort to deceive and manipulate his fans. 
You see that number there? The one that mentions how many views the page had? Well, using this information and the other information about page views that is provided right there on the website, we can narrow down the window of when I took the screenshot to a specific date and limit it to a window of only a few hours. About every two hours, ED updates both the number of views the page has gotten in that two-hour window as well as the total number of views on the page. All I had to do to narrow down when the screenshot was taken was to identify the date and time when the page exceeded 500 views. Using the history information available right there on the site, I was able to identify when the entry's total number of views exceeded 500. Here is the day before it hit 500, and here is the information on when it crossed 500. This is proof that the day I took the screenshot was December 13th. So my question to Bering is, were you just too ignorant of these easily discoverable facts that are right there on the ED website? Or are you just hiding these facts from your fans in order to defame me? Now let's deal with Bering's manipulation of the evidence to make it look as if I was listed by people at ED as the source of some information. Note that Bering highlights my name, but of course it's not what he wants you to pay attention to that's important, it's what he's not paying attention to. And what is he trying to hide here? The date. Look at the date. December 18th is the same day that Bering posted a video falsely accusing Danny and me of conspiring to dox him, and for providing his information to someone that Bering himself admits is a serial doxer and the author of his own entry. Now I mentioned this in the part 1 video but it's important to bring up again to tie it specifically into this false allegation. Cobalt Cat has mentioned several YouTube feminists while trolling Bering about his entry. You can look at those names, you can look at the ED talk history, my name is never mentioned until after Bering mentions it. Apparently this is Bering's logic, I can only surmise, but since he has no supporting evidence, he makes a video falsely accusing me of doxing him, despite the fact that he bragged how easy it would be to dox him, and then when the people trolling him use my name, he uses that as evidence that I was involved. What? The appearance of my name is a reaction to Bering's false allegations, not evidence for them. Bering, of course, hides this fact from his viewers. Now either Bering is astoundingly gullible by presenting this and thinking that it's right, or he thinks his fans are so gullible that they will believe evidence that actually, if you consider it for more than five seconds, is easy to throw out as invalid. To keep this video focused, I'm going to end this one here, and in the next video, I'm going to destroy Bering's use of manipulated video and reliance on sources with no credibility in the next video. Seeing as how I have utterly destroyed Bering's allegations within about 10 minutes of research, I really can't see how anyone can think Bering has any credibility left. He had his channel taken down for copyright infringement. He used stolen artwork to enrich himself. He helped in his own doxing, even bragged in public how easy it would be to dox him. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. Admitted he had already been doxed in November. No. Uh, no yeah, yes and yes and no. Gotcha. I dox him. <laughs> Fuck, but... Continued to give out identifying information about himself on videos that got Thousands of views. First of all, hello, Baring. Is that how you pronounce your name? Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and is that like your last name, or is that just a handle? No, it's uh, it's been my nickname for about uh, ten years. Man. <laughs> if you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. Hey, Dusty, Dusty. Up until March yeah. of this year, I, I was an associate director for for a multinational company, earning fucking six figures, man. I, I was a, a a professional. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. And, and Dusty, my, 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 my other passion is music, and you know, I, I make videos about music and, and you know, spend as much time on music as, as YouTube. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. Yet he wants you to think that somehow an editor at a drama website, a person that he called a serial doxer... This serial doxer and shit stirrer, and it looks like he does this kind of shit regularly... ...would somehow not be able to gather up that information without my help. Bering can't have it both ways. 
And you can see now why Barry and his fans are getting desperate to find, now even manufacture, evidence against me. They can't present direct evidence of my involvement because I was not involved, so they have to create it. If you enjoyed this video but missed part one, please check it out by clicking on the link that appears in the corner, and watch out for the part three video in your subscription feed coming in the very near future. Until the next time, I've been Christy, you've been awesome, and now, what I know you've really been waiting for, the extra bonus video from The Real Bearing. Bye bye Straight. Grr, grr, grr. Good day, kid. It's me, Bearing, the real Bearing. And uh, sorry about uh, that little situation there earlier. Bit embarrassing. I wasn't expecting you this early. Um, well, I, I got an email last night uh, from some. I didn't check who from, but they asked me to to do an early morning video where I just read out a statement that I once said once on the on the internet or something. Now, I didn't check who the email was from. It could be from anyone. I, I really hope it's not from someone I really pretend to hate uh, in order to anger my Virginia and stupid fans uh, for their attention and or money. I hope it's not one of those people. Now, before I start, I'd like to wish all of my cobbers a happy new year, and I hope you had a merry and happy Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, slight interruption there. I'm going to have to introduce you to my pet. It's my dog, Bouncer. Hey, say hello to the kids, Bouncer. Oh, mate, isn't he cute? Now, now Bouncer, what do you think of Krusty Winters? Gotcha. Calm down, mate. Calm down. These are really expensive to print. What's that? Lamination. Oh, that would save me a lot of money on tissues. Yeah, I mean, uh, when I'm spitting at those images, I can then wipe them off and spit them again and again and again without having to reprint all the time. Good thinking, Bounce. <coughs> now, like I said, I'm here to read out a statement. I'll just uh, open it up here. That's right. Uh, you help, Bouncer. You help. Yeah, that's right. Now, here's the, uh, the uh, statement there. I'll just flash it up on the screen now so you can see that it's real. And, uh, okay, I'll just... Uh, <coughs> Bouncer. Bouncer, would you just behave, mate? I'm trying to do a video for the Drongos here. Mate. Bouncer, Bouncer, just go, go, go play over there, Bounce. There you go. Okay, now here's the state. Just bear with me a second. Oh, wait, bear with me. No, just wait, just wait a second. Bouncer, Bouncer, stop it, stop it, mate. I told you they're expensive. Bouncer, stop it, Bouncer, stop it. If you can't behave yourself, you're going to have to go and play outside. <laughs> Don't give me that. I'm trying to do a video and you'll just keep on inter- No. Okay, it's time to rack off. Rack off right now. Come on. Out, out you go. Out, come on. Come on. Out you. <laughs> Struth. <sighs> Honestly, that dog is such a mongrel. Well, obviously, he's a mongrel, but you know what I mean. Anyway, the statement. From Bearing, uh, dated one month ago. Crusty wanters are not hiding behind anything. Just not handing you my identity on a platter. If you really want to dox me, mate, it won't be that hard. There you go. Hope I get paid for that later. Whoever invited me to read out that statement, thanks a lot, Cobber. Uh, you can find me occasionally on the anti-social media uh, YouTube channel. And I hope everyone uh, had a happy Christmas and a great New Year. <laughs> Bouncer, no, bouncer, no, oh, I don't believe it, he's gone, he's gone, oh, cue the wrong music. You know we belong to